But then let's get some perspective. On one hand, the situation surrounding the rearrest of Senator Dino Melai after he met the bail charges, and then the issue of the IG. Uh, joining me in the studio here, a lawyer and a political analyst, Mr. Liberal Oshoma. Thank you so much for joining us on the program tonight. My pleasure, Shim. Senator Dino Melai, I, I mean, arraigned today at the magistrate court in Abuja, and the charges are there. Uh, it, it was said to have also asked for bail, which according to the reports that he met the bail uh, conditions, but he was really arrested. What do you think may have happened? Um, these are not interesting times for uh, politics, uh, democracy. Um, permit me to take us back a little bit. When the National Assembly in um, 2010 or so, 2011, 2010 to 2011, introduce the doctrine of necessity um, little did they know that you know some days some people are going to throw it up whether i applied or not in the same vein not too long ago when elisa uh, metu was um, stretched to court in a stretcher um, also they didn't know that they were creating a new precedent that very soon you know a lot of people are going to be brought to court in stretchers um, and so, the precedent we set today, someday will come turn around to hurt us. And um, what is happening now happens to, what is happening to Senator Dino Melaye happens to a lot of ordinary Nigerians every day. The way they are hounded and harassed, arraigned, rearrested by the police. Is it a case of Senator Melaye, a case of so harassment? It's, it's because, yes, yes. It's a case of harassment? Yes, there's a thin line between prosecution and persecution. If against the backdrop of all the stories that had played out, Senator Shosani was very lucky. For Dino Melaye, he wasn't that lucky. We've, Someday, we'll hear the true story. I'm not holding brief for Dino Melaye. If we're in proper societies, he probably won't be a senator. But there is more to what you see than meet the eyes. Initially, the police had said they were looking for Dino Melaye. Little did we know until he issued a statement that he actually reported himself to the police. And Dino Melaye was not only arrested, his solicitors that went with him, we arrested two of them, until the MBA shouted, and they were just granted bail on, on, on Monday at the magistrate court. His younger brother also, Weland also was arrested. So what I am saying is, these are ways is in Nigeria. Do you think this is more like a, poli uh, a political thing um, rather than the issues of law? There are proceedings. No, it's a political thing. There are proceedings. Really? Because, I mean, yeah, you, you know why? It, it, the police Sh said Sh that he, he gave himself up for, for arrest. Uh, he surrendered uh, himself for arrest. So and he, in, the, in, in, in transiting from Abuja to uh, Lokoja, where they wanted to arraign him, it was said that the man uh, bolted, I mean, wanted to bolt, and he jumped out of the vehicle. And the man had said he didn't jump out of vehicle, and he couldn't have jumped out of a vehicle sandwiched between gun trotting mobile policemen. How come we're not investigating or, or interrogating that, that part of the story? You know, how come we suddenly just, you know, swallow hook, line, and sinker the, the dis, disconnecting stories of the Nigerian police that the man jumped out, and then he was taken to the hospital? Not by but police the man himself has not been, the man has not been, so this only so story that by, we have, because the, saying, the story so, of the police, we've even not if we hear the story stories, of the man, because even if we hear the stories, stories, as the law would say, reasonability, what is the reasonability in this story? Does it add up your sandwich be behind, be, between gun trotting mobile police? fiercely looking and then you jumped out of uh, the moving vehicle the police and then you were alleged to have been injured the police didn't rearrest you and then innocent people brought you to the hospital and you were in the hospital the police now came initially the story was that it happened along lokoja road then later they were told that it happened at area one a very busy 
Area one in Abuja, and then the police were not the ones that took him All right. to. So they found <coughs> excuse to right. go back to. Let the me allow you to so quickly to touch on this because before we go on this break on the issue of the the IG of police and is uh, not appearing before the the, the Senate. Uh, must he appear in person? Can he actually uh, get representation in court? I mean, in, 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 at, at the national assembly. You, you see, uh, also it's very unfortunate that. Um, Initially, when I, I heard that the IG had been summoned over Dino Melaye's case, and I was, I laughed. I was like, so it took the arrest of Dino Melaye for the Senate to wake up to the killings happening in the country. But when I now heard that it had also to do with the killings in Benue, Taraba, and even in the Northeast, you know, I said, fine, if this would be an opportunity for the Nigerian Senate to interrogate the IG, not just the IG, all the service chiefs also need, there's need to invite them because Nigerians are dying in droves. And, and so let the National Assembly not make it look as if it's because of the arrest of Dino Melaye right. that, you know, the IG is being summoned. Okay. Nigerian arrest is one thing. L a lot let, of people are dying. Let, let's take a break here, Mr. Oshoma, because we we'll have another guest join us on the program because the issue of the 2019 elections were, is on our hands and we're preparing for the very crucial election. When we come back from this break, we will hear what, it, uh, what INEC is doing and what the chairman of INEC is saying about your PVC. Will it be ready? That's when we return from this break, everyone. Join us again.